The Rainbow Fund has given Radio Reverb the opportunity to create HIV Happy Hour, one of the shows we're most proud of. HIV Happy Hour's greatest achievement is the coming together of all different types of HIV infected people. Um, we have uh, heterosexual males sharing their story, um, heterosexual women, gay men, and I'm still seeking out a trans story. So. Without the Rainbow Fund, organisations like Radio Reverb wouldn't be able to exist. We rely on grants and funds from people like the Rainbow Fund. I believe that things are changing, especially with the HIV community and trans community, and Radio Reverb gives that, uh, that, that, those communities a voice. All Sorts is a Brighton-based uh, LGBT and unsure young people's project um, and we support young people. Um, we don't have a lower age limit. The youngest person we work with at the moment is six and we go all the way up to 26. Things would have been different without All Sorts because I wouldn't have had somewhere to explore my gender identity without my letting anyone know about it. So I think it would have taken me a lot longer to come out because I wouldn't have had a place where I could use the right name and pronouns and feel completely comfortable doing that. Because there's a kind of reassurance you get from that and you're like, this is the right thing. So I think without that and without the support from one-to-ones with the workers, it would have taken me a lot longer to get where I am now, really. The Rainbow Fund funds um, lots of our trans work and that spreads across our project. So be it Transformers, which is our group for 16 to 25s, um, we also have a group for under 11s and we have a sort of general LGBT group for secondary school age. Ever since I've come out, I can like go to them all the time and meet very like-minded people and people that can support you because they know just what you're going through. So you can just go there and it's just completely open and safe, yeah. We have young people entering our project who maybe are quite socially isolated or are struggling with their identity, so be it sexual orientation or gender identity. And with our support and through the project, they end up being volunteers or they end up doing something amazing and kind of showing themselves that they can do whatever they want. All sorts has given me a place to be me. The LGBT Community Safety Forum has given me a vision of what the city can be, how welcoming the city can be. And it's given me a desire to drive equality forward for the disabled, for the lonely, in our LGBT community. To many of our service users, the LGBT Community Safety Forum means a voice and protection um, and independence. Any section of our community who feels ignored, let down, and are struggling to find hope, we want to give them hope. The Rainbow Fund to the LGBT Community Safety Forum means empowerment and the opportunity to deliver projects that wouldn't be delivered in the city otherwise. The funding they give us is specific to certain projects. And it's not just a handout, a watch. It's targeted at doing accessibility matters or outreach for homeless people. Mind Out is uh, an LGBTQ mental health service run by and for LGBTQ people um, and we run a number of different services for anybody that has any concerns about their mental health. I think Mind Out means lots of different things to me. Um, it means that I've been able to get support when I've needed it and when I couldn't find support anywhere else. We run open groups which run a bit like a drop-in so people can come whenever they need to or feel like or want to and that's used by lots of people that feel very isolated and sometimes actually don't don't go out unless they're going to come along to this group to meet other people. It's been a really important part of my life um, for the last probably five years. Um, I've met lots of different people on lots of different journeys and um, I've been a part of support groups um, where I've um, sat with people going through similar experiences to myself and we've been able to relate to each other and 
helped me to not feel so alone. The Rainbow Fund have been incredibly supportive of Mind Out and are currently um, funding Out of the Blue, which is our support group for LGBTQ people that have experienced any distress around suicide. An incredibly important group that we run. That project began over 15 years ago as a initially monthly and then weekly support group and has grown to be a drop-in and psychotherapy support group for people under the trans umbrella, anybody who's questioning their gender identity. It was there at a time of huge need for me and immediately I felt safe there. There are individuals who come, who arrive at Clare Project for their, the first time in really desperate straits, dire straits because um, they know that they, there's an issue with gender identity and they're terrified of what it means for them and for their families. It gave me counselling, which I really needed. It gave me friendship and support and it gave me validation. It gave me validation of Alice. We've had grants from the Rainbow Fund uh, for two out of the last three years, which have really enabled us to sp spread our wings and do more, be there more, uh, reach out to more people. So it's it's been a lifesaver actually having that money. Lunch Positive is the lunch club and it runs every Friday for people with HIV and it's a place for people to get a healthy lunch and uh, be part of a supportive community. It's given me a social network uh, of understanding people uh, and that gives you a sense of belonging, I think, which is uh, much needed. But you can discuss very deep problems uh, related to HIV. Brighton Hove's got the second highest prevalence of HIV in England and Wales. And uh, there's a local population, many feel lonely, isolated, many don't eat healthily on a regular basis. You can get real understanding and support and also give it to other people at Lunch Positive. The Rainbow Fund does lots of wonderful things for Lunch Positive. Obviously it funds us, which is essential, which is fantastic. It, it means that we're secure in providing our services year on year. But it's also a, support, a supporter that we can talk to that's local. Uh, we know some of the people involved and we can have an easy dialogue with them to actually talk about our services and what our needs are. And hopefully they can have an easy dialogue with us about how they can help us. Well, it's great food also. Trans Alliance is a forum for the different trans community groups and trans activists in Brighton Hove. The Brighton Hove Independent Mediation Service is a small charity that supports neighbours in dispute to find their own resolution to their conflict. It's really important that the voices of, of local people who have been for years not heard to have their voices lifted. Members of the trans community have felt very isolated and um, have felt their neighbours have been behaving very negatively towards them. The Rainbow Fund um, means a lot to Trans Alliance. They've helped fund um, some of our projects that we're still in the progress of, of completing. Um, they've helped fund a project worker for us so that we can further our trans awareness training throughout the city. But the Rainbow Fund has enabled the Mediation Service to access some fantastic training from the Trans Alliance to um, support our mediators to have a greater awareness of trans issues and how to make our service more accessible to the trans community. In general, the Rainbow Fund have been incredibly beneficial to the trans community as well as the wider LGBT community because um, it's really putting money in projects that otherwise wouldn't get cash um, that really need it and can really spend it directly for the people that it benefits. Rainbow Chorus Plus, which is funded by the Rainbow Fund, is an organisation we've set up for monthly singing for members of the LGBT community who want to come along but don't want to commit to being part of a performing choir. For me, as a trans person, it's given me a chance to experiment with my... to hear my own voice and to experiment with my new voice and see where that new voice can go in a very supportive safe, light-hearted environment. For me, joining the Rainbow Chorus was such an amazing thing that opened up such a lot of new friends. I realised it was really important to put something back and become um, the membership coordinator so I could also reach out to new people. RC Plus 
is a safe, supportive environment where I can go and try out my new voice. I can hear my voice as it changes. I can hear other voices and we can come together and experiment with our transition and with our voices. The Rainbow Fund has given us an opportunity to set up monthly sessions to allow people to come and join together, feel safe and feel supported in a very therapeutic, empowering, fun way. RC Plus is about healing and joining together in harmony through song. The Sussex Beacon is a care facility for people living with HIV. Rainbow Families is a network of families right across the South East. Your Action is an organisation providing uh, wellbeing activities and social events for people living with or affected by HIV. We've got about 450 members who all come together regularly to take part in social and networking events. People need to talk, people need to get things off the chest, some people need to get some support. We opened initially um, as a as a hospice um, and now we care for people and help them to live well with HIV. There are lots of families around uh, the world that uh, identify as LGBT or have families or planning on having families and we all need a support and community that helps and guides one another. We are actually means for our service users a safe place where they can access uh, treatments, alternative treatments to improve their well-being. We're one of the only places left in the UK with an inpatient unit and we can provide inpatient care for people living with HIV. Rainbow Fund. The Rainbow Fund. The Rainbow Fund. The Rainbow Fund. They've awarded us funding for our counselling service. They've helped to uh, fund older children's activities. Given us equipment that we seriously needed. We are able to offer what we call the well-being days when people can access uh, alternative therapies and massages and simply network with other people facing the same issues. It's a vital resource for many of the groups. It's enabled us to grow. We can provide counselling service to more service users. The Rainbow Fund has given funding to the Sussex Beacon over many years. Um, lots, of, lots of things that we wouldn't have been able to fund without the support of the Rainbow Fund. It's also enabled us to work together more. We only are able to do that because of the Rainbow Fund.